I'm Johnny. So I was going to do this video, I say that a lot, about clock knock. But then this happened. We won this election because we listened. So now I have to do a video about clock knock because the country right now is basically in one big game of clock knock. What's clock knock? Well, it's like rock, paper, scissors, but it's a little different. Rock beats parrot. Gun beats rock. I guess for it to be truly Canadian, we need to also have baguette and peace sign, but uh, this works for now. So like I said, this is one of the many rock, paper, scissors, or Rochambeau variants that are out there. Similar to rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. And even RPS 25, which has, as you guessed it, 25 different variants, including devil. I want to kick it now. But I digress. Rock, paper, scissors is really good when you're trying to settle a dispute where there are no real stakes. Who has to take the dishes to the front? Should we use tabs instead of spaces in our programming source code? Stuff like that. And as a game, it's perfect for that because mathematically speaking, there's no perfect strategy. In fact, the best way to win at rock, paper, scissors is to always throw random. Clock knock. It's different. It was invented, funnily enough, by a couple of Canadians. And there's this little GeoCities thing all about it. So links are down in the doobly-doo. Go check it out. But it has this really interesting metagame. Say, for instance, you really want to use spaces instead of tabs. Well, then your strategy is definitely going to be throw pistol all the time. But say, for instance, you're a quasi-reasonable human and... Yeah, you want to use spaces, but you don't really care, so you can throw rock. And if you're down for whatever, then just throw parrot. This has the potential to really honestly lay out the table at the exact same time as everyone else what your true desires are. But it also is done up in this framework of a game where it's safe to do so. It's kind of neat. As long as it's approached in the same sort of spirit that you would approach a rock, paper, scissors game. So what about this then? We won this election because we listened. Well, aside from the obvious overtones when it comes to the seats in Parliament, well, some of you are stuck between a rock and a hard place. But your party is the official opposition. So you should take pride in that. Our new Prime Minister has said that he will listen and he will be transparent. But he may need help in keeping him accountable. And that's where you may come in. Healthy opposition and healthy debate is what makes us truly great Canadians. Not talk of Western secession. It was crass and un-Canadian when Quebec threatened it. And it is crass and un-Canadian when we do it. We need to nip this in the bud. Because as an Albertan, this is an embarrassment to Alberta. And it needs to stop. And for those of us on the left side of the fence... We need to become more inclusive. It is imperative that we restore reasonable political debate to Canada. And that does not work by being a sore winner, but instead works by extending an olive branch. A respectful, inclusive Canada is a Canada that is worth fighting for. All right, kids, this is the last in a trio of videos all about Canada. I've got one on voting. And I've got another one on the Constitution. And for those that don't know yet, you can check out my Patreon. It's 50 cents for every song I make. You get access to my super secret Patreon feed. I'm slowly but surely leaking details of my new project. So if you want to join in on the fun, then get in on the Patreon. For the zealots that are out there, I'm working on a way that I can keep in contact with you guys too. If you want to become a Patreon or a zealot, there are links down below in the doobly-doo. And probably up here somewhere. And remember kids, clock knock is fun.